Oh my god! Hello! Hi! So, as you can see, we're in a studio shooting a little uh, six month anniversary clip. So we didn't have time yet to actually go out and do some metal detecting. So, we're here and we're going to do our intros in the green screen room. Oh my god, what's that? Ah! No. So we have a couple of clips left over that we have not put up yet and that's what we're gonna do. Birds, birds everywhere. Oh my <laughs> god. Well, my name is Ab. I'm Carrie. And this is... So, I uncovered this. Oh, it's an X. They're gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh my god. It's a... I'm out digging in holes. <laughs> I'm just shaking. We're back on a beach near Swasin Ferry Terminal and just looking around and my first find of the day is this beautiful Vancouver pin. Get out! Check it out! Look at this! Oh my god! Look at this, it's old! Holy shit! Sorry for the swearing! Oh my goodness, this is my first uh, target for my club hunt here um, near Tawasin Ferry. Uh, I think it's Centennial Beach or something. This is, this is my first target! Oh, I can see the wheel there. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so awesome. What I just found, found a pocket knife. It's a, a newer one than I'm used to finding, but it's rusted pretty good. So nothing really super, but it's a key. It's a nice little, cute little one. I like that. Just found a shotgun shell. Wonder why people are uh, shooting guns at the beach. So I'm in a local Vancouver park. It's not a really, it's a big park, but yeah. And I found my first silver of the day. I don't know if you can actually see it. But uh, it's a 1961 silver dime. My first one for a while since a while. Ah, that feels good. And we've been digging all kinds of like older pennies, but like the 61 was the oldest one. And then this one, 1945. I saw KG King George on the back. I mean like this must be older. 1945. And then I find a penny from 1952. So there is a lot of old coins around here, but they're mostly pennies. <laughs> Here I am at the, the bottle dump. I've kind of cleared off the brush a little bit. And you, when you do that, you start to see all kinds of stuff underneath. Old bottles, you know. But look at this. This is cool. That is a piece of a, an old doll. You can see the ear here. Isn't that cool? Got um, uh, old, old cups, pottery. Where's that plate? There's a plate that I was trying to get. Oh yeah, right here. Looks like a plate right here. Let's see if it's in one piece. Oh, no, it's not. But that's interesting, eh? So, and interesting, there's oyster shells. So, 
Um, it's like a kitchen dump. Lots of old bottles on the surface. You know, teacups. All kinds of neat. Oh, but we're gonna we're gonna take it. There's also an area over there, and I, I cleared an area over there. So let's see what we can find. These are some of the interesting finds. This is a piece of leather, and you can tell that that looks old. That looks like something, you know, from a woman's boots, just by the holes. Uh, also, this one here looks kind of old. Uh, there's an egg cup. Now, this is the oh, I found a blue bottle stopper. I forgot about that. And I found a um, part of an old lamp that takes a wick right there. And uh, this is the only thing that I found intact. And I found a, a neat uh, bottle that's broken. And you, know, you got big pieces of, and uh, some cow bones that I'll leave here, but they're always interesting to find you that you know that you have a, a kitchen uh, dump. Um, and uh, there was also a lot of oyster shells, which is kind of neat. Alright, see you later. Well, here we are this morning in a park, and we're following a natural um, clearing. It has power lines, but it, it, in the old maps it used to be a road. And look what my first find is of the morning. <laughs> it's a license plate. It says uh, British Columbia can't really read out the numbers but yeah that certainly uh, proves our theory so we're in the middle of the forest here so that's cool all right see you later so we're in the middle of a Canadian forest and I find a 1982 coin from Hong Kong I don't know you can see Kong so I will say that Hong Kong, uh, we got Elizabeth on the back, and I found it underneath a tree. It's what I say, in the middle of Canada. Very interesting. And my next find is a old caster. You know those little wheels that go underneath like desk chairs, but this one is made out of metal. Uh, I know they reproduce them, but this has definitely been in the ground for a little bit. So, a metal caster. We're digging here. Carrie's there. And I find something that is more in Carrie's domain. I find this UDL bottle. But if you look at it, it is gorgeous. I mean, like, look how ornate it is. And it says, made in Canada. Uh, it's also really ornate on the other side. Uh, UDL stands for United uh, Distillery Limited. Distillery Limited. That, I think that's what it stands for. Anywho, pretty cool bottle. Not really my cup of tea, but hey, it's gorgeous. Anybody lose their keys? To a Ford? They're not going to be able to get get home. The next find is a fired bullet. This is the projectile. And it looks like it hit something. So, there you go. People were shooting here. <laughs> and underneath this tree, I found a dog tag amber uh, it's just a dog tag it's not a numbered dog license so it doesn't give me a date what's there <laughs> an inchworm uh. he's wondering if uh, he can have something to drink too they always like me so this is a good reason to put everything in your pocket 
uh, when you find stuff when you don't know where it, what it is. Um, I found this because of this metal band that's around it and when I got home I looked and it says uh, Martha Lorraine and it has a patent number and stuff and I just typed in Martha Lorraine into Google and you know what this is? <laughs> It's a makeup brush from the 1950s. You press this button here, which doesn't work right now, but look what happens when I go like this. <laughs> look at the makeup brush. Oh my goodness. So welcome to our uh, wrap up. This is actually a wrap up of four separate little hunts that we did uh, last week as Carrie had the week off so we did a little bit of hunting and a little bit of not hunting <laughs> so let's go to the first hunt Carrie uh, yes. that was the club hunt yes uh, we went to a beach near a prominent ferry terminal <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this was uh, the first thing that I dug out of the sand dunes I was so excited uh, on the b inside it says London toy company made in Canada and uh, it has a few of its wheels still and it's a tanker truck yeah uh, it never had any windows no it only came in red or green of course there's no more paint on that no. um, I found in that hunt a Metro Vancouver pin and some change and like to Shotgun shells, nothing too amazing about that. So then we go to hunt number two, which was in a local park. And uh, a music festival was wrapping up and they were putting everything away and we're like, oh, we're going to find lots of stuff from all the stuff people lose while they're mosh pitting in front of the stage. Well, I found two pairs of sunglasses and a glass mason jar. Oh yeah, you also found a, uh, a box of Kleenex, yeah, but you didn't take yeah. that home. No, I, I left the box of Kleenex there for them. I had a little bit more luck on that beach, I mean on that, in that park. Uh, so what I did, I found uh, a 1942, I mean 45 penny, a 1952 penny, and a 1961 penny. And then the Peace de resistance, it's been a while. I found a 10 cent silver coin from 1961. So I did a little bit better than Kerry. I found a lot of pennies, a lot of pennies. They're all a little bit older, but most of it were like were pennies. So that was my top finds. So then we go to hunt number three, which was a bottle dump yeah I love bottle dumps um, so we went back and uh, we brought a shovel and uh, unfortunately it was just on the surface finds I guess the rain had uncovered you know the porcelain and stuff but I still had a lot of fun I found some willow wear um, some old bo uh, pieces of bottles and stuff but my uh, favorite finds were um, a uh, oil lamp wick um, they find these a lot in the states uh, at colonial sites and stuff. Uh, I found a blue glass stopper, which yeah. I think is like it's super really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, finding yeah. that like that made up yeah. for not finding any <laughs> bottles. <laughs> yeah, and I also found for the first time a piece of a porcelain doll head, and you can see the ear right there. It's creepy. Yeah, if if anyone knows what the hole is for, I, I would like to know. Um, you know. Uh, I don't know what the hole is for. <laughs> is it supposed to be there or it just happened? Somebody shot it? No. Well. That could be too. So then we go to hunt number four, which was back into the forest. So Carrie. Yeah, I found a bunch of uh, chunky metal items, my favorite uh, to find in the nice peaty soil. Um, I found two of those. Another so they're basically room. like a, a, a burner protectors for a gas range. Yeah. Found another uh, porcelain or uh, enamelware uh, tin. And in here there's a, a hacksaw and uh, some keys. And I found this cop. 
uh, also Namoware. Yeah. I found a iron caster. Uh, that's one of those roly wheelies. I also found a spent oh, yeah. uh, bullet, an actually yeah, fired cool. bullet, and you can actually see it hit something really good. Mm. So it killed something probably, or a tree. And then I also found a dog tag. Uh, what was the name on it again? Amber. Amber. Yeah. Uh, and some, some lady was came up. Did you find a, a dog tag by chance? And I'm like, is your dog's name Amber? And she's like, no, it's Amazon. And we had a laugh <laughs> <laughs> because it was a boy. And then I found this coin from Hong Kong. Yeah, uh, that is a really cool coin. I mean, you've. I was basically. Um, I'm gonna pick it up here because this coin. Um, when you when so you we pick were, it up. Uh, like it's a, it's a beefy coin it's thick on the rim of the coin it says five dollars uh, in both Cantonese or Chinese and uh, and uh, and English on the back it has Elizabeth the second yeah and on the front it says uh, Hong Kong five dollars but the weird part of it is is like we were in a uh, wooded area and this was the only coin that I found there and I didn't find much else in that area it was underneath the tree so that was pretty cool well that's about it oh well, you found some cool bottles too oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have a hate for bottles for I, I don't have a love for <laughs> bottles I hate is a big word so this is a united uh, this Distillery uh, Limited. Limited. It's a really ornate bottle. On the mm -hmm. bottom, it says yeah. "Made in Vancouver" or "Brewed or Distilled in Vancouver, yeah. Canada." Yeah, distillers, Vancouver, Canada. Uh, it is an uh, uh, like the empty spots on the glass is where a label used okay. to go. I s I've seen them yeah, online. Uh, they're about 1940s, 50s in that range. Yeah, and the other bottle you found um, takes, I'm not sure uh, the kind of... Um, it could be a foil lid. It could be uh, some sort of cork, but uh, on the bottom it says uh, registered 1931. And you can see the pontal mark on the bottom. Yeah. So it's that, not an old Ponto. But, uh, okay, yeah. it's a Ponto. Come on, 1931. No, Ponto is when they like physically break it off from the thing. This is more machiney, but yeah, still cool. Still cool bottle to find. And uh, I have found this one in the same park. It says uh, Cheeseboro, Montreal, and that's uh, a Vix jar. And normally those are blue, but uh, this well, one's clear. There we go. That's the end of the wrap up. Uh, if you like this video please like subscribe leave a comment we definitely have Instagram and Facebook and a blog the links to all this stuff is in the description below so like subscribe share so we become internet famous well that's everything from Ab that's everything from Carrie may you find me plentiful and what you desire see you later bye bye